this is, I'm not saying this to be insulting, it's probably Welcome a to day five. on you Let's as go. opposed to the men that you're dating. Probably. And it, it's, it's not necessarily perhaps an immediate defect, but I mean to be dumping someone because you're bored, but then getting back with them because you're bored. And, uh, it's a bit, uh, it's not conducive to procuring a long-term serious relationship. If your primary, like, what's the primary thing you're looking for? Excitement? I don't know. I'm young once. I'm doing what everyone else is doing. No, well, you aren't, because, I mean, everybody else is just having natural sex. <laughs> yeah. it, well, it, on one hand, you are kind of casually dating, but you're not having casual sex. I suppose that's better than if you were just having casual sex. But it's, you're, you're getting the same experience. But without without the sex, exactly. I'm just confused what, like, I mean, what, what are the guys looking for? I don't know, I never asked. I never got that serious. I feel like you like the attention, you just don't like the commitment, because you're not ready for it. Yes. But here's where I'm confused. So most guys who would be inclined to casually date, sex is going to be a component of that for most men. You disagree? Yeah, I disagree. I, 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 well, for me, sex isn't like a big thing in a relationship. So, well, for you or in general? For me, okay. just personal. What about for other people? What about for other people? Well, like if I'm gonna like casually date, I would definitely talk about it with the person I'm going to date. But like for me, I. I don't participate in the hookup culture. I am really weird about having sex, so I understand where she's coming from. You don't need to be have a sexual relationship to have a relationship. No, you don't. You don't need it. I don't have to make really any objections to what she's actually doing. I'm just kind of confused because if a guy's inclined to to wait it, because she wants to wait for sex. It seems like it would be a mismatch on the guy's part to casually date her, but there's no, there's a total lack of sex. That's, I mean, look, there's asexual people, there's people with really low sex drives, but is that you? Are you asexual? No. Why? Well, I mean, you guys are friends, you chuckle at each other. They're mothers. Me, right? Me. Oh, you're, you're the asexual one? Poor low sex drive. I just, yeah. Like, yeah. that's always been the case? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But that's why I understand what So, like, when you say low sex drive, what does that mean? Like, the guy was with the five years ago, but... Wait, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Wait, yeah. wait. <laughs> the guy you were dating for five years, you guys never had. No. No carnal knowledge. We didn't do it. No carnal knowledge. Are you also virgin? Yeah. Stop the cat. Are you also virgin? Okay. Any other virgins? Any virgins? Virgins at the table? No fucking way. There's no way. This is why we're all the, friends. The trifecta, the trifecta of virgins are... Hold on. Oh, it's paused. It's loading. What the f I left by that battle? Yeah. Okay. What she said? Are you religious? Um, yeah. Uh, Christian? Yeah, I would say Christian. That's I'm like kind of. I'm kind of like. I believe in God, but I'm not. I don't it's very, it's very so, I'm Christian, yes. Oh. So, yes. Okay, it's a little more believable. Oh, my, it's true. The mean streets of Sailor Barbara. Oh, yes. Shut them off the streets. They were walking 
the streets. Okay. Well, I don't know how that would. It wasn't happening before. Well, no, I mean, um, okay, cool. So, uh, was, like, was he trying to smash or you guys were um, kind of asexual? He had, like, asked me really about my opinion on it. I was like, I don't know. He, wait, he asked you on your... Yeah, he was like, yeah. He asked me down one night, my dear. What are your thoughts and feelings and opinions on the chances of us having sexual intercourse well, yes, tonight? Yes, that is what happened. Not tonight, but Verbatim, we had... That's what he said Verbatim. We had the conversation. Yes. Yeah. And how did, so how did it go? How did it go? Fine. What, did he put... Was there a PowerPoint presentation? No. These are the reasons why we should have sex. <laughs> exhibit A. Exhibit B. Exhibit no. C. No. It was a very casual conversation. Yeah. And what did you say? You were just like... He, like he said... How long did he talk for? Like, he asked the question for like 30 seconds. And then were you just like... Yeah, I was like, no, I'm chill. Like, no, I'm sure. just, yeah. Okay. Are you waiting for marriage? Originally, yeah, I wanted to. You wanted to wait for marriage? Yeah. Well, you still are. Yeah. We're still on that path. Okay. And then you, waiting for marriage? Yes, waiting for marriage. Okay. All right, there you go. All right, hold some group here. Kind of. Okay, good to know. Uh, that changes a lot of things. So, um, did not know that. Where, what were we talking about? Sticky note. <laughs> Sticky note. Yeah. Sticky note. Your turn. Okay. I think I'm 50-50 on it. I think it really just depends on the guy. It depends on the situation. If you are looking again for somebody that has the same values as you, then maybe you might want to choose ahead of time not to live that life. But you can also find a man that says and believes that your past was your past and to keep it as that and to be loyal and faithful with that single person moving on and I relate to a lot of like what you have said a while ago in terms of if somebody truly loves you they will forgive you for your past and move on and I only know that because in my situation of three years he held my past over my head and then when one month of us breaking up he started dating another female that had the very identical past as me, but he's doing everything that he could use to do with me, so he was able to forgive her, but not me, and that's just the type of person. Yeah. 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 Maybe because she lied, I don't know. I really don't believe that, them. Um, I think uh, if someone has a past, it's their past, so... I can't really change the past. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think people can change. Maybe they just haven't found the right one before, but I think most of the time they're not going to change and just carry on. People can definitely change. You should bring surprise exes you just have to like have in the back. An open conversation with your partner and make sure that you agree before committing to something. I think it depends on the woman's stance and see how much um, they like. If she's willing to be honest about it or if she's going to try and... Um, what a lot of women try to do is double down and defend their actions and act like yeah. they didn't do anything wrong. And I find a, a big problem with that. But if you're able to own up and admit that you made a mistake and you have a change of perspective, there's something to be respected there. Mm -hmm. Yep. I want to kind of reframe the question a little bit. So let's say either a guy you were interested in dating is assuming, I know some of you guys are here at Bergen, but let's assume you had a sexual history he wasn't satisfied with, um, or you just vaguely heard about a guy who, he refused to date a girl because, strictly because of her sexual past, so let's say she had a body count of 20, would you object to a guy on that basis alone, choosing not to date her, to reject her? to that. I'm a little confused by the question. Okay, yeah, so question. Uh, either somebody, you can look at it from either somebody you're interested in or you're just hearing about this, some, a girlfriend of yours or you just heard a news story about it, whatever it is. A guy refuses to date a woman, turns her down because she has a body count of 20, she slept with 20, 20 guys. Do you object to him refusing to date her on that basis? 
in seeing. I guess it really depends. I wouldn't turn them down just for the fact that they had a lot of people in their past, but if they were still, like, hooking up with me and I was just one of the bitches on their roster, mm -hmm. and they were sitting here and like, oh, yeah, I want this with you, but then not cutting off their little roles or cutting them off as soon as he said that, yeah, no. I'm good. No objections. No objections. I don't have any objections. I think it just depends on the guy's values and what he wants. If he's okay with a uh, female having a body count and that person has shares, then there should be no issue with them dating. But if that's something he's not interested in, then he needs to go find a lady that has not slept with any men. No objections. No objections. Yeah, I think everyone wants just be lied about it. There's no problems in that. No objections. Also, no objections. Okay. No objections. All right. Almost consensus there. Uh, let's get into some of the other pre-show notes really quick, though. Guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow and prime sub if you have one. Guys, it has been an hour since we got a prime from Red Calamity. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, everybody else, for uh, all the primes and the gifted subs. Drop us a follow and a prime sub if you have one. Twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us. Oh, my. He's on fire. Yo, life 2010. Thank you, prime. Appreciate it. Uh, it's broke. I think it's broke, boys. But he fixed it, so we're good. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. All right, we're going to get into some of the other pre show notes. We need to get to. We did. I add something sure, to the last topic. Um, so, when I, before my marriage, before I got with my husband, uh, I was in a serious relationship with a uh, man who was a virgin. And at the time, my body count was three. And he actually told me after we had already been dating for like three years that he had a problem with my body count. And it changed our entire relationship. We ended up breaking up because of it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it happens. <laughs> you guys were dating for ten? Sorry, three years? Yeah, we were dating for three years. And then he finally told me that he had a problem with my body count. Good times. Yeah, it was like he was holding resentment the whole time, but he just wasn't being honest with himself about it. Yeah, I think a lot of people do that. They'll enter into a relationship thinking that they're okay with something, and it's, it, it, it's not just body count, right? It could be someone's really into hiking, and then the, the woman's like, oh, yeah, I'm into camping, and, and, like, you know, she'll lie about it because they like you in the front. They, they want to get you, and then over time, that resentment builds. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry that happened to you. Yeah. You said the body count was three? Yeah. Okay, all right. Nobody's safe out there. Um, I have a question for you, this girl. How you said in your like question or answer to the last question, how like if people came and were honest and realized that it was a mistake, it really wasn't a mistake that they made. 
would have been don't consider it a mistake. Yeah. yeah, that's what I said. And some people try to, like, they'll double down on it and then they'll defend their past. Um, and, and if that's the route you want to go, then take that route. Um, but I just said someone can either um, defend their actions, um, feel justified in what they did, or um, feel remorse for what they did, repent, change their behavior. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's okay to n not take the repentance path? I think that's up to the individual um, and what she chooses to do. Um, at the end of the day, you're responsible for your actions and you have to answer for what you choose to do. Did you have another question? Sorry, mm -hmm. I like, just, just got in here. I guess we'll go around with a random question. What is uh, everyone's biggest... Red flag. And guy. Or a girl, I guess it would be. Girls. Yeah. Lack of communication. Mm -hmm. I feel like we should have different, different ones for everyone. Mm -hmm. So it's like, like obviously. But. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you something different. Um, this is one I learned later on in life, and that's uh, difference in values is huge. That actually, I learned that from my fiance. Um, that's huge. If you can't agree on morals and values, you don't have anything. Um, so that's a huge red flag. I feel like not very many people understand that until later in life, because mm -hmm. they don't really know what their morals or values are yet. Right. Yeah, well, I guess in the like 20s, I would say. Mm -hmm. That's a red flag. Yeah, I think um, in my early 20s, I was kind of loose on like my political views. Um, I wasn't confident in who I was as a person. So yeah, that, that made me just date different people and I was pretty impressionable as well. Um, so I would kind of cater towards what their stance was, but I wasn't being true to myself. And it just took maturity and growth to learn what was important to me um, and then become secure in that and then demand that of someone else as well. Mm -hmm. So really just like respect, respect for me, my time, my space, and the relationship, respect for everything, for working. I agree with that. Mine's consideration, like I want you to be considerate of me. Um, like if you're out somewhere and obviously we're dating, that you know not to do something because it would make me feel a certain type of way. So it's like, in a way, selflessness. Is there anything more like physical? But I wouldn't want to date a guy who's shorter than me. Oh, mm. I just I don't want to look down on him. <laughs> How tall are you? Five four. So okay, it's, it's not hard. hard. It's not hard. Yet. Macy, you had quite a reaction there. Um, mm -hmm. what, are your, what are your thoughts there? I mean, I've never really met anyone like a man taller than me. So I've always had to like deal with the fact that they're always going to be shorter than me. Mm -hmm. So. And that was kind of surprising. I'm sorry. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I have a question for you. How do you handle that? Like, how do you deal with a guy being shorter than you? Is it something that's ever, like, bugged you or no? No, not really. Um, it probably bugs them more than it bugs me. Mm -hmm. I remember last year I dated a guy and we went on a date and we were holding hands and walking and I made a comment. I was like... You look like my little toddler. Oh, <laughs> it really hurt the feelings, and I, I meant to have a joke. <laughs> like, it took me in the heart. Oh. He's like, mm -hmm. never say that again. Please. Can <laughs> <laughs> I ask you a question? It's if I don't answer. Do you think that that experience with men has led you to want to date women? Loading again. Not really. Mm -hmm. It's it's been more of like the the bad parts of having to date a man that has what bad parts. 
very scary instances with men. And I knew ever since high school that I like liked other genders. So but it didn't take me until after high school to kind of like explore that. Uh, I have a question on that though. So you're saying essentially you've had bad experiences with men. Because of these bad experiences, you sort of have a uh, prejudgment now towards all men, or bias, essentially. Uh, yeah, I'll go there. Uh, now, let's add another identity uh, factor to this. Uh, let's say these were all black men, um, and you had a lot of experiences with, poor experiences with black men, uh, or actually, let's just say black people. Uh, would it be racist to have a bias against all black people because of your poor experience with experiences with some black people? I've actually never had any experiences with a black man, so... But that's not my question. I know, but, you know, I, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't not date like, a whole race just because one person was bad to me. and apply them to uh, gender. kind of the responsible thing to just sit back and say, okay, well, I'm just not going to interact with them anymore. Well, I mean, you okay. can't say that you still have, like, it's not to say that every interaction is bad. It's not to say that there won't be a good interaction in the future or that there can't be. Sure. But right now, it's just a wiser choice to take yourself out of that situation. And I think it's totally valid for someone who not to want to be a specific gender just because they've had repetitive bad experiences. Well, even removing the dating component, it's kind of the general exists regardless of whether she wants to date a man or not. So my question then would be, if you've had multiple bad experiences with somebody who's black, for example, can you then extend this sort of logical thinking in terms of your bias towards well, but that's black the people? Well, because, okay, I would also never... Well, because that's the thing, it's like some people don't find certain races attractive. Like, they would never still be racist or bad towards that person or that race. I mean, as long as you're still respecting everybody on a, like, good, humane, respectable level. I'm not saying I should think be... Bi I think dating have bias have to is totally fine. Well, you don't have to be... You're not compelled to date not, anybody. Yeah. If you have a racial preference, I think that's totally fine. I think that what I'm more so getting at is this, uh, I guess, this bias against men is applied to a racial group or a religious group or an ethnic group or whatever I mean, it is. Yeah. If you had uh, poor experiences with, with uh, Asian people, would it then be justified to have bias against all Asian people? No. Because you had poor experiences but that's, with a that's different. Or that's different. That's How's completely it? different. Because then you're seeing a whole group of people in that light in a different situation. So you mean these real life situations are so completely different. Dating bias is really completely different than just bias bias. Because you can still have someone who's plain out just not attractive. Well, I think my understanding is correct. The justification is not here. fueled by racism. Not, not everything like that has to be fueled by racism. You can just say you don't find someone attractive. Right, but it's not clear to me if that's at least the case here with Macy. I think, Macy, you said that you uh, don't date men not because there's perhaps a lack of romantic or sexual interest, but because, precisely because, you've had poor experiences with them. And then there's also a corresponding bias that you have in general is it, towards men. Did I say white men? I'm sorry, just men men. I don't think you just said that. I think I said, yeah, just men. Like, as of currently, I probably wouldn't, like, sorry. I wouldn't date men right now because I am low-key very traumatized. But that doesn't mean I wouldn't date them in the future. I, be I, traumatized. It really depends on the, the personality of the person. Not. 
Out of the woods at my job, and I'm like really grateful that it was a man and not a bear. So, oh, there you go. <laughs> so, man. man, definitely, yeah, definitely, man. Okay. Yeah, a man. absolutely, man. Okay, so those of you who said bear, I think it was you for here. Uh, why? Starting with you, if I was in the middle of the forest and a bear or a man, like suddenly appeared, I'd be really scared. I, I would be really less scared of a bear. No, no she would not. Have you ever been confronted by a bear? No. But I've also never been confronted by a man in the woods. So. Sure. You know, like, you could just like bark at a man and act like a mommy or something. You know? But if like you do that to a bear, you could like, <laughs> like, you know, like start acting like a comedy zombie or something. You said bark? Yeah, but like. Now that you've said that, you actually have to do it right now on the show. I can do it. I can do the, the Minecraft zombie. Okay, good. 
do that. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. But, but if you do that to a bear, you might like, you know, invite it to attack you. Versus a man, you can kind of scare them off, maybe. Okay. All right. Um. So the, you said why? Because you'd be more scared of the man. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about you? I choose the bear because I might get shot. Um, I just take my chances. I feel like it's pretty. Mm, She's too dumb. To like, oh man. But remember, the scenario is not, you don't know for certain for either the man or the She's hot to be dumb. Uh, aggressive towards you. They might. Yeah, they might. Both of them might, but both of them might not. Yeah, but I feel like a man could do far worse than that. Like, I don't care. Like, <laughs> mm. okay. So, yeah. I could also do that. Sure, yeah. And then, uh, Macy, what about you? Uh, I agree with her, but like, I'm like, low-key, I have a fear of men. Like, if I was alone with a man, I would be scared, so I would rather just be killed by a bear than, get, like, I don't know the intentions of a man, but like, I, I would just rather be killed by a bear. Okay, so you're scared of men? Mm-hmm. Uh, are you scared of men? <laughs> no. No, he's cool. It's in chill. Oh, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Since the pay them donated $200. Mm -hmm. And once that pet bear, do you realize that if the bear got into you home and you called animal control or the police, most likely men with the right to save your stupid asses? That is already one man in the forehead. I've actually made this argument before, but uh, big and big men appreciate the TTS. Good to see in the chat. We also do have another chat here. Uh, dude. 
you up in there 10 out of 10 times, even though majority of you would pick it there. I mean, truthfully, though, it would be, at least from the, the male perspective, if it's random woman or random bear, uh, yeah, the smart move would be to pick the woman, but I would pick the man, too. Um, Men are stronger. And to be fair, man and man, like, if you as a man, you can afford to be a man, it's less of a threat as a woman. Why is that? Uh, really? Okay. Um, mm. Like, uh, me, I'm like, working on being a bodybuilder <laughs> right now. No matter how fucking strong I get, there's always going to be someone stronger who can just fucking pin me down and do whatever the hell they want. Don't you want them on your side? Yeah, but in a random forest, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be on your side. This is a random scenario. They could be on my side, they could not be. So a bear is 100% guaranteed to not be on your side. You realize that? No, it could be on survival greatly increase. You either come across the man or the bear, not both. Wait, is it both? No, no, it's one of the others. Yeah, but you're in a survival situation in the middle of it. Oh, I thought you were just, no, I thought it was a survival like against the man or the bear. No, no. Oh, it's just a survival. You're like, dropped in the middle of the woods, you and she get one. Who do you want on your team? Uh. Yeah, we're talking about, you know, since I was 15, and then the second I was 18, he was just like, oh yeah, give me that. And then, you know, I could do that. So 50% murder chance. You really never know who someone truly is.
Those are incarcerated so, I mean, you said for violent crimes. 50 50 for you two. Do you genuinely think that 80 million men in the United States would be inclined to SA or murder you? The stats at UCSB, yes. What are the stats at UCSB? I don't know, but I know they're being high. What are, well, you'd have to cite the uh, person at least say what the stat is. Something like seven out of ten girls at UCSB. Have been full blown at SID. Yes, in some kind of way. Well, what, what it's only one kind of way. What is the definition of SA? Either cat called, either. Push. Cat calling is sexual assault. No, 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 no. Just harassment. No, you in just. Oh, yeah, you just said no. cat calling. Well, I'm not. While I think that's not appropriate behavior. Sexual okay, sorry. Just any kind of harassment. Well, I'm, I'm just gonna say that that was included in the study, in the data. How can you believe data that includes cat calling the sexual assault? Just okay, okay, fine. Harassment. Yeah, I'll even grant you that uh, cat calling is harassment, but it's not sexual assault. I'm not saying it's. I, I, mean, I don't other think cat calling of sexual assault include ass grabbing. And the bear won't do that. The idiot saying the study cited includes cat calling. No, that was part of harassment. I just said like, more of everything to So you said seven out of ten women at UCSB have been. Something like that, yes. did actually consider it included. Um, the three top ones that did include were ass grabbing at parties especially, mm -hmm. just unwanted to touch anything like that, and of course, numbers, I'd say a higher population of men are more inclined to like hurting women in any way possible. Well, yeah, so so okay, yeah, let's go with that number. Okay. So then do you think I mean these are pretty high numbers. I mean there's there's something pretty defective here going on with, with men then. Well if we go with like general statistics that everyone probably knows, whether that's from TikTok or any kind of social media that has like you think TikTok is a reputable No, I'm just saying <laughs> like any kind of like you know, Twitter, 
<laughs> Can I say something? Sure. Um, I think, regardless of what these statistics are, I think the reason, that like, even though my number isn't as high as her number, um, I think the reason that is is because although you might think TikTok, like, yes, people can say false things, and it, it might be fake. A lot of stuff on social media is fake. But on TikTok, on social media platforms, that's where we hear most of my news. That's where we hear about and most experiences. Of it is and because we're on it, we're exposed to that. And regardless of what the statistic is, it's real. And I don't agree with the saying that all men She's are bad. I genuinely don't. I don't think that's Contradiction. I've met plenty of like, amazing men in my life. And I wouldn't be where I am today without them. But it is, I think, the reason why in our heads, like, it's to choose this bear is because there is a chance and it's real. Regardless of what the statistic is, it's possible. And in my yeah, there's opinion, a chance. Yeah, and in my opinion, I would probably rather die by a bear than by me. Like, I would, I would prefer that death over one bear. Right, but it's sort of and that's with me saying that I'm not afraid of them. But you're assuming the man's going to kill you. Is the problem. Just the same way I could assume that the bear was going to kill me. But so you're equating the chances of death the same between both parties. And that's what this comment was just alluding to, is that that's the issue with feminism and social programming that's happening to young women, is we're being told that men are inherently dangerous. I don't think I'm dangerous. 
I mean, what she chooses to make her. You ask me the same question, I'd rather be like, a bear or a woman? My answer would still stay with a bear. Double down. And Double down. People in general. You can't trust people. You don't know. Double down on the dumbness. Two people, or I either whether a bear, one person, one bear, yeah. a forest, right, that's alone to survive. Why would you not choose guys. somebody else that could help you survive? Tomorrow. You build, hunt, fish, search for things. Because you just don't know what their intentions are.